Mr. Chairman, this is Blair. Um, I am I'm concerned about the possibility of having four dwellings put on that small piece of property. Uh, however, I'd like to see if we could accommodate them in accomplishing what they would like to do. And, and I think it would kind of fall along family ties also. Um, I make a motion that we approve the zoning and put a condition that two dwellings is the most that could be placed on this piece of property. And you, your property is almost five acres anyway. So if the SA, and the SA we're going to, RA, RA, that the RA is two and a half acres. So we're only falling a little short on the acreages, but uh, I'm, I'm just not comfortable personally with seeing four houses go on that, that piece of property. So my motion is to approve the zoning and with a condition that uh, you can only put two dwellings on that property. And I'd like to second that with some comment. Okay. And, and actually another question for Jason. This mm -hmm. original record error that occurred is yes, this rezoning to help correct the error that occurred yes. in the past? So actually, um, had we not had that error, we wouldn't be sitting here tonight having this discussion. If, if we, I think if staff had caught this when they needed to, we would have seen this when that first survey was done. So I think it would have gotten to y'all. I just think it would have gotten to y'all earlier. So that's part of it, yes, sir. But that's part of it is bringing back to it would have gotten to y'all if they wanted to do this before. So really, I'd, I'd like to make, I guess, some comments uh, in, on the record to that effect that this is to correct this uh, initial um, error in recording that occurred. And also to, uh, I guess, Mr. Lawler and Mr. Condry, uh, hopefully this condition of limiting the, the dwelling to two will be satisfactory. And the other thing is, our job, you know, is really to look at appropriate land use when an when a application comes up. And based on the uh, future development map for that area, uh, the, the request is appropriate. It's an appropriate land use. And uh, also these provisions for family ties are there to really benefit everybody. Uh, and <coughs> times such as this, a lot of times when you see people come forward, a lot of times these family tie situations are driven by family economics. And so therefore, when these conditions do comply with the uh, land use maps that we have to go by, uh, I think it's just important that we to try to help people do things with their property that they can as long as there are no really glaring errors or, or malice or harm to the nearby property owners. So I think in this case, hopefully, limiting the uh, dwellings to two, and hopefully this explanation, you will be satisfied with this uh, decision. Thanks, sir. Okay, we have a motion to approve uh, with uh, the exceptions, or not exceptions, but uh, conditions, conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have a second as well. We've had discussion, we have any, need any more discussion. Is it okay if I, um, to, to clarify the wording of the condition is, the current motion is approved with the condition that the subject property be allowed to be developed with only two dwellings. That's my understanding. Okay, the subject property be allowed to be developed with only. Okay, we have some, some more discussion. Mr. Chair? Um, the scenario like this would be we approve the, with the condition of two dwellings on the property, and which is what they've requested in their letter of intent, by the way. Yes. It's certainly not four. But uh, I'm just trying to look down the road a little further here. Is there a possibility <coughs> over time that this could be changed and, and once the property is sold and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, other people want to develop it and put more mobile homes or whatever in there. The, is that, is that uh, a 
a, an enforcement problem that we should not concern ourselves with. Mm -hmm. If the if the condition is placed on the property, then it would run with the property, and so it would be something that would be in, enforceable for the number of residences. And if they were to try to change that or try to go in addition to that, they would either have to come back to the planning commission and county commission um, to to modify that. So that that would it would run with the property, not within the individuals, and it would be binding on the development of the property. Uh, it could change from family ties to just a the the way that I have the condition is it's not specific to family. It's, it's just specific to the number of residences. I mean the it'd be the subject property be allowed to be developed with only two dwellings, so it's independent of who those who's living in those dwellings. Is the way I have it. Great, very good. Okay, any other discussion? Okay, I'll now call the vote. All in favor, please signify by raising your right hand. In favor of the motion. Right. Here is unanimous.